Hi guys, myself Ankit and this video shall solve the problem on Nilko. Rotate image. So you are given an enclosed and 2D matrix representing an image. Rotate the image by 90 degree in the clockwise direction. And you have to rotate the image in place which means you have to modify the input 2D matrix directly. And you should not allocate any other 2D matrix and do the rotation. So what do I mean is within the given matrix we have to rotate the image by the rotate the matrix by 90 degree. And there are uh, uh, cases like you can create one more matrix and do the rotation, but you know that is not allowed. You have to do the rotation within the matrix itself, within the given matrix without any extra space taken into account. And it means we have to do the rotation in, in place. And the rotation is about 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. You know the clockwise direction is something but from it goes from left to right or here right to left like this. So clockwise direction. So what will happen in the clockwise direction means see here it was 5191. This will move to here. So 5191 you having over here. And the elements in 11, 10, 9, 7, 16 will move to here. So that is what you have over here. So 11 over here, 10 replaced, 7 here, 16 here. Again from these elements will move here. But see. Again, these elements will move here. Same thing will happen for the inner thing also. 4, 8 move down. 8, 6 was vertical here also until 6, 3, 6, 3, then 3, 4, 3, 4. So, this is how you have to protect the image by 90 degree in the clockwise direction. That means the elements which was over here will come here to get the 90 degree angle. If it is 180 degree, then elements over here will become here. That is opposite. If it is 270 degree, then the elements over here will come to here. If it is 360 degree, that will be in place. Got it? Okay, so how do we solve the problem? So, as I said, the image is moving ahead by 90 degree, right? So, what we have to do is like, let's take the transpose of the matrix first and see the what's observation will be. So, you know, transpose of the matrix is nothing but see the elements will be exchanged. If the elements at position 1, 0, it will move to position 0, 1. That is what a transpose of the matrix. If it is 0, 0, then that will be 0, 0 only. So if it is uh, 0, 0, if it is 2, 1, that will move to 1, 2 position. The element will move to 1, 2. The exchange, the elements at these position will get exchange. So if I take 1, 0, so let's name position 0, 1, 2, 3. Here again it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So if it is 1 comma 0 then 2 is present and 0 comma 1 is over here. So these two will get exchanged. So that will be nothing but what it is it will become here 2 and here 1. If it is 0 comma 0 then 0 comma 0 1 it will get exchanged. So here it will be 5 only. So the all the elements in the diagonal will be same. 1 comma 1 will be at 1 comma 1. 6 comma 6 will be 6 comma 6. Uh, uh, that is uh, 6 comma 6. 2 comma 2 will be at 2 comma 2. Similarly, 3 comma 3 will be at 3 comma 3. So all those elements will get three, uh, so remain same. So I'll write the, those elements 6 and 16. The other elements will get exchanged. I mean 9 will be exchanged with 13. Then here 11 will be exchanged with 16 and 3 will be exchanged with 8. Then 40 will be exchanged with 10, then 12 will be exchanged with 7. So let's write all those things. So here 9 and 13 will get exchanged. So let me just, okay, 30 and here over it's 9. Here it is 8 and 3, then 15 and 11. So it will, here it is 10, 14 and here it will be. 12,7. So, this is what the transpose of the matrix. You, you can see the elements are exchanged with their respective position. So, if we have given, uh, you have to write a code for this, then how? How do we write a program? So, I, if n is the length of the matrix, so it's an like n cross n 2D matrix, right? So, row number of rows and columns is the same. So, i equal to 0 till i lesser than n. So that means all the rows and i plus plus. What will be the inner row? J will start from, is it from 0 or i? It will be from i. Why? So j lesser than n and j plus plus. 
Here if I just erase all these things. We will take care of only half of the array if we run. That is fine. 5 will be 5 exchange. 1 will be exchange with 2. And here 9 will be exchange with 13. 4 will be exchange with 8, 16. 6, 16. Then 8 will be exchange with 3. Here 7 will be exchange with 12. And 10 will be exchange with 14. So that is what we get by doing the transpose of the matrix. So if we take again j equal to 0, then what will happen is so initially i was 0 right if i was 0 all these elements first row elements will get exchanged i equal to 0 0 by 0 1 with 0 2 with 0 3 with 0 so 1 with 0 will be replaced with 0 with 1 i mean 0 comma 1 will be replaced with 1 comma 0 0 comma 2 will be replaced with 2 comma 0 and uh, uh, this 0 comma 3 will be replaced with 3 comma 0 that is okay. But again, if I take when i equal to 1, if I take j equal to 0, so i equal to 1 and j is 0. If I do that, then again i 1 with 0 will get exchanged. So 2 comma 1 will be again exchanged. I will need the same matrix, original matrix again. So initially for when i was 0, these two will be exchanged and 2 comma 1 will be there. Then if I do i equal to 1 and j equal to 0, 1 comma 0 will be exchanged with 0 comma 1, right? For example, so this will get exchanged again. That will result in the original matrix again. So that should not happen. So we take the j equal to i. Only half of the matrix will get exchanged. So after you get the transpose of the matrix, if you see the observation, if you see with respect to the resultant matrix, this was the resultant matrix, right? So here you could see 5, 1, 9, 11. That is at the last column. Then 2, 4, 8, 10. The next to last column, it will write the second column. Then 15, 14, that has become the last column over here. This column here. So, what it means is, so that means we have to exchange the first with last column, next to next columns. So, if there was a middle column, then that will be, if there is a matrix of i cross y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this will be extended with this, this will be extended with this, and this will remain in the inter that position itself. So we have to extend the columns. Last with last, then next to this, and from here one position. So for doing this, we, are, we have to take i equal to 0, i lesser than n, i plus plus. For each row, we have to do that. First row we take, exchange these two, exchange these two. Next row we take, exchange these two, exchange these two. Next row we take, 9 and 2 will be exchanged, 8, 6 will be exchanged. Last row, 11, 16 will be exchanged, 10, 7 will be exchanged. So i equal to 0, i less than i plus plus, all the four rows. And for exchanging these two, we will keep one pointer left equal to 0 and right equal to n minus 1. And if n is the length of the matrix, n is the length of the matrix, n minus 1. So left will be pointing here, right will be pointing here. And using the temporary variable here, we create a temporary variable in that we store 5, that is 0, 0 position. Then this is the last position, right? So now 0, 0 position, since the element is stored in temporary variable, we can place 15 in the 0, 0 position. What is that 15? The element is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, third position. Next 0, 0, third position, we will there is a temporary variable that will be 5. That is how the element gets exchanged. 15 will be here, 5 will be here, 15 will be 5. So similarly we do it for all the rows. And once you do this for 5, 15, next you do left plus plus and right minus minus. Right from this here go to here, left mean go to here. So here 2 and 2 and 30 will be exchanged. Next again left plus plus, right, right plus plus you will do, they will be interchanged. Means left will be greater than right. So until left lesser than right, we have to do the operation of this, exchanging the elements. So we will program this now. Okay. Int n equal to matrix dot length. So after this, we run the transpose of the matrix. So for int i equal to 0, i lesser than n, i plus plus. For n j equal to 0, not 0, i 
and j lesser than n j plus plus we create a temporary variable equal to matrix of i comma j and we have to exchange with j comma i so matrix of j comma i will be equal to matrix of i comma j or temporary variable also uh, no. so now we will assign i comma j will be equal to j comma i because we have stored that in the temporary variable so now matrix of j comma i will be equal to temp so for this we get the transpose of the matrix so once you get the transpose of the matrix now we have to calculate the uh, rotation of the matrix so again for it i equal to 0 i lesser than n i plus plus we we'll have two pointers one is in left that is pointing to 0 then in right is pointing to end of the column last column so n minus so y left is lesser than right what we here need to do how to exchange the variable again we create a temporary variable equal to matrix of i comma left so next will be matrix of i comma left will be equal to matrix of i comma right i comma right that is the last column we exchange with the first column with the last column so next what we do matrix of i comma right will be equal to the i comma left but that is stored in the temporary variable so this step and since the return type is void we can directly run this okay uh, yeah oh, here after doing this left and right we have to do sorry left will be plus plus and right will be decremented column number will be decremented like that we have to do for each row i hope now it is works yeah so for c plus plus also similar code will work so let me just paste it for c plus plus also only thing is instead of matrix dot line we have to give matrix dot size let me just run this yeah so i'll just submit it for one, one of the codes Successfully submitted. If you understood the problem, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until then, keep learning. We'll come up with another video session. Thank you.